Hello and welcome to the Nailbase tutorial series. In this second tutorial, we're going to show you how to configure a new list. The first thing you're going to want to do after creating a new list is configure the field names and field types. To do this, move the mouse over the layout menu at the top of the screen and click Amend Page 1. First, we rename the page to something more useful. We're creating a music list, so for this example, we're going to enter Album Information. On our album information page, we want to store the artist name of this particular album. To do this, we need a text box with the label artist, and to make this, we simply select the type text, which is already selected so we don't have to do anything, and set the new name in as artist. Our second field is going to be album name, which we're going to make using exactly the same procedure. The third field we want is a currency formatted field to store the cost of this album. To do this we click on the type field and click currency. We then set the field name to something appropriate such as album cost. Now this particular field type will automatically format any numbers we put into it as a currency and reject anything that isn't numeric. Our next field type is URL, which creates a text box with an associated button that will allow us to make hyperlinks to external pages. We will use this field type to store the band's website. If you have the standard or professional version of Nailbase, you have the further option of using drop-down lists, which allow you to make a comma-separated list of items that you want to be able to pick from. To do this, start by selecting Add Your List from the Type menu. We are going to create a list of formats our music is in, so we're going to have Format as our field name and Download, CD and Vinyl as our options. Obviously this list could contain almost anything. To do this, enter the name of your field, in our example this will be Format, followed by a colon, and then each option you want in your list separated by a comma, like so. We will set the remaining fields as not required. And finally, after editing all your fields, simply click Save to save your changes. Finish this process for all your remaining pages, and you will have a completely configured list. For a complete guide to field types and their uses, See our layout tutorial PDF at nailbase.net in the tutorial section. In the next tutorial, we will cover how to add records to your list. If you require more information, visit nailbase.net. Thank you for listening.